Oaks, BBC Look North. A woman from Sunderland says she's been left devastated after losing her father and brother to COVID-19 within a week of each other. Alistair Rennie was 82 and his son Mark was 47 when they died in April. Both had underlying health conditions. Elaine Rennie is now busy planning a double funeral for them. She's warning everyone still to be careful as COVID hasn't gone away, as John Carter reports. Yeah. A special moment with her dad, Alastair. Now, nothing but a memory. The 82 year old died on April the 13th. Elaine's brother, Mark, died seven days later, both in the same hospital, both from COVID. My brother had never left home because he caught MS at 27, so he always stayed and lived at home with him. And then, of course, the, the, my brother was hoping my dad would be wheeled across to see him um, in the wheelchair, but he was just too ill, and so was my brother. He was wanting to do a FaceTime as well, but, um, but my dad couldn't really speak the last couple of days. But my brother could speak, and he said, Elena want a double funeral. Elaine's dad and her brother lived together in Whitley Bay. They were extra careful during lockdown, making all their visitors do lateral flow tests. Elaine's convinced her dad caught COVID when he had to go into hospital with bowel problems. It's amazing that they've made the headlines. They're even um, in loads of papers around the world. And <laughs> they're, they're number one page, the, the Daily Mirror and everything, all the papers. And so, But I wish they, they'd been alive for the fame rather than having to go for it, you know. And the more famous than I've been. <laughs> they've made around the world. I've been a bit too stars and I've been the car I was. <laughs> Won stars in their eyes when she was in her 20s. It was something she says that made her dad very proud. Her music is now her comfort and focus. It's their double funeral on the 17th of May. She's planning to perform Adele's Make You Feel My Love as a tribute to her dad. Joanne Carter, BBC Look North, Sunderland.